Welcome to Netlink Daily Friday Edition, the show with tech news and deals and all that great stuff. And we even have a special guest today. This is Matt from Hardware Canucks. He was about to say something there, but he's not mic'd up anyway. So I'll explain what Hardware Canucks is. It's a fantastic website where you can learn about tech news and performance and deals. And Okay, so that's basically kind of the same thing, but in written form. And they have videos. It's a great website. You guys should definitely check it out, hardwarecanucks.com. We've got him here. He happens to be in town. So I was all like, collaboration. Oh my god, where'd he go? You killed him! This week is NCIX's January High Speed Sale event. I mean, you know, the great thing about that was there's no body to get rid of either. Our Canadian deal this week is a 240 gig Kingston SSD for $159.99. You're saving 40 bucks there. And the American featured deal this week is an EVGA GeForce GTX 780 Super Clock with three gigs of memory and an ACX cooler for $509.99. So you are saving about 150 bucks off of regular price there. In the news this week, Apple's got Siri, Google has Google Now, and Microsoft is going to join the party with their own personal assistant named Cortana. Is this real? Wow. Named Cortana. In case you're not a Halo fan, Cortana is Master Chief's AI companion that in the game series tells him all kinds of useful things and less useful things, and I guess that might be a reflection of what it is actually going to do. The service will be integrated with Bing, and users will be able to use it first on mobile devices and later on Xbox One and Windows by saying the phrase, Bing, tell me. I thought it would be Cortana tell me. Maybe Cortana is a code name. Well, either way, Windows phone users will get the app this April. The Sacramento Kings, that is a basketball team, if you're wondering, is going to be broadcasting their game against the Indiana Pacers using Google Glass as worn by certain players, as well as the mascot announcers and dancers. The footage will be combined and broadcast live by a company called Crowd Optic. The team is also now going to accept Bitcoins as payment for tickets and merchandise. Is it desperation or is it the wave of the future and they're just on the leading edge? We don't know. And Google themselves are one upping Google Glass, making a smart contact lens complete with a tiny processor and antenna. The lens won't be used for checking emails or recording videos though. It has a tiny sensor that will be able to monitor glucose levels for people who have diabetes. Cool. I mean, I was hoping for like laser vision and all that, but I mean, yeah, I'm diabetes, that's good too. That's great. And our next uh, tech news story of the day is, um, so, uh, sorry, the, uh, the type's all off. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna wing it here. So um, our next uh, tech news story of the day is the integrated uh, voyage of imagination that I, I really feel like we need to, um, oh, I'm sorry, I just, I'm sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, Linus. Nobody. Boo! 